We're turning now to a few international headlines this weekend. Breaking overnight in the Middle East, Iran launched an unprecedented large-scale drone and missile attack at Israel. It's in retaliation for a suspected Israeli strike on an Iranian diplomatic complex that killed some top commanders in Syria. ABC's Perry Russom has the latest. Israel says it stopped 99% of the more than 300 drones and missiles launched by Iran. U.S. officials confirming American forces shot down about 70 of them. A U.S. official telling ABC News Iran's targets were three Israeli military bases, including one housing fighter jets. Together with our allies and partners, we are operating at, the, at, we're operating at full force to defend the state of Israel and the people of Israel. President Biden cutting his weekend trip to Delaware short, returning to the White House yesterday afternoon to meet with his national security team. Biden speaking with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu late last night, saying afterward, I condemn these attacks in the strongest possible terms. The U.S. military has been increasing its presence in the Middle East, bringing in additional troops, ships and aircraft to protect assets already in the region. The question now turns to if and how Israel will respond. The air power, the, the capability of the Israeli Air Force is far beyond anything that the Iranians have. And the, the Israeli Air Force can own the airspace over Iran. So between that and the ships at sea, uh, the Israelis have a lot of options in how they retaliate. President Biden says he wants to meet with the group of seven later today. He says he wants a diplomatic response to what he calls Iran's brazen attack. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington. Now, Senator Ted Cruz released a statement here responding to the attack, saying in part, there is no doubt that Iran has made a huge mistake in attacking America's closest ally in the Middle East. As I have always done, I stand with Israel to do whatever it takes to defend itself.